This week, if there is a pair that I want you to really check upon is NZDCHF. I remember we did analysis. If you if you didn't see those analyses, you can go back to those videos where I had said NZDCHF should buy, I should sell. And the analysis, I'm still uh, looking at the analysis and I'm seeing an, a very good opportunity. So if you're interested to still check NZDCHF, you can do it. Okay, guys. So NZDCHF will be trading it using for our time frame. And the reason why I'm giving you pairs to trade, we started with GBP USD. So I hope you have locked that in your watch list and you're watching how GBP USD is playing out. Now I'm giving you the second pair, with, which is NZDCHF. So this week we will be looking at GBP USD and ZDCHF. So this is our NZDCHF. You can see uh, I'm on four hour time frame. Before I continue, this is my number. Don't be scammed by impersonators pretending to be a star more free. This is my only number. If you're interested in any kind of services, I only train and I only give a mentorship program. So I don't trade on behalf. I don't do bitcoins. I don't do all those things they claim to do. So don't be scammed. If you want any of my strategies, one strategy is $100, the full cost is $1,000. So you can tap me and let me know. Anyway, guys, uh, for me, if because the monthly has ended, uh, if I come to the monthly time frame and try to check what we have on the, on the GPP, on the NZDCHF, for me, I can tell you that this is a long-term cap and handle. You may not see it, but as you see it, we had a double bottom here. Can you see that double bottom? And then the double bottom broke out. So the pattern that we are having is called cap and handle. So the market should go down that distance. The market should go down that distance. That is the cap and handle that we have. And at least it should go halfway. So even if you are trading in ZDCH, there's so much room for the market to for the market to do what? To drop 746 pips. The question is, what will allow you to trade this market? What is that that is giving you so much confidence? So from the monthly time frame, we have a cup and handle. If I go to the weekly time frame, we had a ranging channel that broke. And I think we did this with you guys. You can see the market broke and the market gonna finish that ranging channel. If I go to the daily time frame, so here is where things are interesting. So we can see the market has come, has started to come up. And the question is, is the question we're asking ourselves here, is this market a reversal or is just a retracement? Is this market a reversal, guys? Is it just a reversing or it is a retracement? Because it is, that is how our trade looks like. You can see we had a very big uh, dip. So the market has been selling. So this push up, is it a retracement or the market wants to reverse? And that's why majority of people don't understand what is happening. So what happens? The first week of every month, the market is easier. It either goes up slowly, up very smoothly, or go down, down smoothly. Why is that? Is because majority of people, they don't, they even not understanding that we, have, we are in a new month. So the market will slowly go down or slowly comes up. Now, we are not sure if this market will continue to go uh, and maybe retrace this area. There's a possibility the market can still push up to retest this area. And that is how many people, so there's that possibility. So we are not blinded, it's like 115 people. So what I can tell you guys is that uh, where the market stopped, you can see the market stopped for two days. You can see this spinning top. If I look on my left, there's nothing I'm seeing. You can see, there's nothing I'm seeing. So if I look on my left, there's nothing I'm seeing. But if I go on four hour, where I'm looking on the left, there's a double top. Let me see, we have a double top. So what if this double top is what the market will use? What if this is the double top the market will use? So we have a double top that is OPT. So this month, this month, you have a pattern to trade. And you can see how stiff it is. Oh my goodness, this is big. 
So we are trading this double top, guys, with you. And by the I don't know how long it will take because if we get a confirmation, we don't know how long it will take for it to hit our neckline. So this is what I want you to go and do. And the DCHF, I want you to go and mark that double top. And this double top is a possible double top because it can, it can continue to go up and there's nothing you can do. So we have a possible double top there. Um, so I want you to mark that with very, uh, very visible. Someone can be able to see. And then we have our half. Can you see that half? And then we have neckline. So, so far, GBPUSD, we have double bottom, that is OPT, and ZDCHF, we have double top, that is OPT. So we have our neckline. So in this case, which strategy are we using? We are using CSB strategy. We are using CSB strategy. CSB strategy. So CSB strategy means if the market breaks support, you enter. So remember, we had a double top uh, around, I think it was two hour double top. And I told you, we had this double top. And I told you it is a sell until they, they break that double top. And I hope you exited that trade. So I was holding this sell. When the market broke, when the market broke this uh, double top, you can see it, it broke. We were we had ourselves around here and the market sold for I think it is sold for like 20 pips and then we, we exited the 23 pips. So when the market broke here, you were supposed to come out. So we are testing it again. We won't give up. The good thing with the market, don't give up. So if you had sold, uh comment down below. Let me know if you exited that sale. Had you sold the way we said and did you exit with our exit plan? So here. If you want to participate in this trade, just mark a uh, put a box. Let that market break that box out. So put that box because sometimes line, morning people don't even see the line. I want you to put that box, and we are waiting for CS CSB strategy CSB strategy to to break. Okay, so you can see if that market breaks. Gosh, can you see where half is? Oh my goodness, half is very far. So if this market breaks, oh my goodness, we have 159 pips. So guys, I want you to put this in mind. I will come to give you, a, I'll give you a what? An update of NZDCHF. So this week I have given you NZDCHF. Kindly pay attention on it. Wait for the market to break so that we can all enter, okay, guys? We won't be like intimidated. So if the market gives, gives us an entry, we enter. If it gives us an entry, we enter. So we are waiting for current support break uh, to be broken, okay, guys? So I think uh, that is enough for today. I will actually do another pair that I feel that the market can give you and once you pay attention, you'll make money. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.